want to talk to you about how the COVID-19 pandemic has affected our teenagers. But first, let's put things in perspective. Think back to when you were a teenager. When I was 16 years old, I lived with my parents and sisters, yet I hardly saw them. My life focused on hanging out with my friends, going to parties, and going to school. I bet, regardless of where you're from, many of you share similar experiences during this time, with life primarily focusing on being with other teenagers. Now I want you to imagine if you, as a teenager, were forced to stay at home with your parents and siblings for months on end, you'd not be allowed to see your friends in person, and school, if running, would be limited to online teaching. And if you leave the house, you could get sick, and you could be responsible for a loved one becoming sick and even dying. Think about everything you'd miss out on. Think about what this would do to your teenage mental state. Well, this scenario is something that our teenagers have been, and their families have been going through due to the pandemic. Today, I'm a clinical child psychologist and a researcher who focuses on how stress affects our mental health. And recently, I've been motivated to understand how what our teenagers are going through right now affects their mental health and how it might, inf might influence the rest of their lives. So let me tell you what happens. The mental health of teenagers worsens, with a particular increase in depressive symptoms and anxiety. Teenagers between the ages of 16 to 18 years old and girls especially struggle the most under these conditions. A recent study that pulled together findings from all over the world showed that in the first year of the pandemic, rates of clinical depression and anxiety have doubled. It used to be about one in every 10 teenagers who suffered from clinical depression or anxiety. Since the pandemic, these rates have risen up to one in every four suffering from clinical depression and one in every five suffering from clinical anxiety. And what's a troubling yet little known fact is that prior to the pandemic, mental health problems among teenagers were already on the rise. This is something that researchers have been documenting for the past decades. It's unclear why this is occurring, some potential reasons could be increased awareness of the younger generation of the daunting global concerns that fa we're faced with. It could be a byproduct of more online activity or some other changes in the daily lives of our teenagers. But what is clear is that the COVID-19 pandemic has compounded an existing problem. So now I want to tell you why we need to be aware of the mental health of teenagers and how an increase in mental health problems among teenagers affects not only those individuals, but also our families, friends, and society in general. First, our teenage years are a sensitive period when it comes to our mental health. This is the time when most mental health disorders emerge or have already emerged. And our well-being and experiences during our teenage years then set the stage for adult mental health. With that in mind, I want to remind you that today's teenagers are tomorrow's adults. Today's teenagers are those that will tomorrow be running our society. They will be responsible for preventing or fighting our future conflicts which are likely to be many. So it's absolutely critical what, that we invest in their healthy development because this impacts the future for all of us. And then secondly, even though many consider the pandemic to be mostly over, we need to be realistic that COVID-19 
is not the last stress or traumatic experience that our teenagers will be faced with en masse. Some stressors will be global, like the pandemic or climate change. Others will be local, like natural disasters, war, civil unrest. And others will be at the individual level, such as living within a household in which domestic violence occurs. We know that these types of stressors predict mental health problems. So we need to prepare future generations for stress. Now, all of this sounds extremely bleak. But I want to note that as a psychologist, researcher, and mother, I'm optimistic we can turn this around. We already have effective treatments and prevention options that could catch this generation and prevent further mental health problems among future generations and prepare them for the next stressor. For example, on, uh, research has shown that online therapy is effective, both in the form of one-on-one -on -one therapy with a therapist, as well as online self-help programs. With an increase in mental health problems, it's likely that more teenagers will require mental health services. And in many places, professionals specialized in the mental health of teenagers and adolescents or in children and adolescents, is a scarce commodity and not readily available to the many in need. By having therapy online, we can overcome some of the physical and resource barriers that we will be faced with. And in terms of prevention measures, we know that research or research shows us that providing youth with education on their mental health and ways to promote Good mental health and resilience is effective. And here I believe the school system holds the key. Providing this type of education through the school system is powerful because almost all children go to school. So these are two examples of treatment and prevention measures that we know are effective and could help us address this problem. We need to start implementing them now. So we need to call on our policymakers to invest or to fund the resources and infrastructure required for these effective initiatives. And I'm convinced that it, that it will not be a hard sell at all to get them to listen. And that's because research has also shown us that preventing or catching mental health problems early on always pays off not just for the individual, but for their family, friends, and society in general. So earlier, I asked you to think about your teenage years. Now I want you to think about how much they shape the person you are today. For me personally, I met my husband and many of my best friends during this time. I also took my first psychology course and started working with community members suffering from mental health disorders, which obviously sent me on the career track that I'm on. I know that the full experience of a healthy and social adolescence mattered to me. I bet it mattered to you, too. So let's let the current and future generations of teenagers have the same positive experience during adolescence so that they can springboard into a healthy adulthood. Thank you.